Hello and welcome to Solving Simultaneous Equations Basics with the teacher. Now we have a calculator screen up already and we've got a couple of simultaneous equations that we want to solve. So to start with we'll press the menu button and then we'll want algebra so we could press the number three or we could use the mouse or we could use our arrows to go down to algebra and across. Now we want to solve systems of equations. So it's a linear equation, so we could use either of these. Solve systems of equations gives the answers as x equals and y equals. Solve systems of linear equations gives the answers as a coordinate. Now uh, let's enter the equation 2x plus 3y equals 8. And we have 5x minus 4y equals 11. We press enter and that's our answer x equals and y equals. I'll show you what would have happened if we did the linear solve. Back down except this time linear solve. Uh, same equations 2x plus 3y equals 8 and 5x minus 4y equals 11. You can see the same answer except this time it's given the answer in coordinate form. Okay, so it's possible we might want to solve using different letters. If we were to do that, solve systems of equations, we just change our letters, say A and B, and then we can write our equation for that. So 2A plus 3B equals 8, and 5A minus 4B equals 11. We have our answers for that. And if we had uh, three equations or more that we wanted to solve, we just change that to three. We could change the letters and we just enter the equation there. Um, well, we don't want to do that. So I'll just delete that for now. There's a couple of mistakes people can make. Um, so we might have this equation, but we've forgotten to change the letters. So if we had that, if you end up with an answer like this, it's basically saying that the, the letters you're solving for are not the same as the letters in the equation. So that's something uh, to look out for. Um, the other thing that people sometimes forget to do is they sometimes forget the equals bit in the equation. So if we got rid of that, change it back to A and B, you'll see it says argument error. It's saying it's the wrong sort of argument. You've written an expression there instead of an equation. Okay, so they're the basics. Um, there are other ways of doing it. I think this is the simplest though. So you can technically go to menu, algebra and solve. And then you can use this button. You can create multiple different equation forms here, but that's beyond the basics. So we won't cover that now. The easiest way to solve systems of equations is simply menu, algebra, solve systems of equations into the equations here. Hope this has helped and uh, let me know if you'd like me to make any more videos.